Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Hello and welcome back. Yes, you know me. My name is Kyle and I'm here for the advanced class for today. Here we are in class 33. Let's go. Did you hear me? I just said, let's go. Vamos. Let's go. Let's start. Let's do it. Let's study. Let's learn. Okay? I want us to go. Let's go. Exactly. And this is the structure we're going to practice right now. So, remember, not to, remember, don't confuse let's with shall. Okay? So, so shall is is basically a well I'm I'm asking shall we go it's like saying would would you like to go okay whereas let's go is like an invitation come on vamos it's it's an invitation let's do it okay let's go while the second one shall is a question to 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 see if we, if we will do something shall we dance would you like to dance shall we dance Let's dance. Bailamos. Come on. Venga. Vamos. Bailamos. Let's go. Let's do it. All right? I want us to finish. Let's finish. Let's come come on, Kyle. Let's finish. I want us to make dinner. Let's make dinner. I want us to work harder. Let's work harder. I don't want us to be lazy. Let's not be lazy. Let's not be lazy here. Let's I I don't want us to get too careless. I'm worried about that that we're getting too too careless sometimes. I don't want us to be too careless. Let's not get too careless. You can say let's not get too careless here. I don't want us to make too many mistakes. Let's not make too many mistakes. I I want us to have a have a sandwich. To be honest, I'm hungry. I want us to have a sandwich which both of us Come on, let's do it. Let's have a... Let's go. Let's have a sandwich. I want us to take a break. Let's take a break. I want us to call some friends and have a bit of a party here in the studio. It's getting... I'm getting a bit tired. Aren't you... Don't you think we need to have a bit of a party here? Have a few more friends... Uh, a few more people? Let's have a party. Come on, let's invite some friends. Let's Let's record a show together with a bunch of friends. It'll be great. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. Okay? All right. Okay, good. Let's let's move on. Let's move on. Okay? Are you ready? I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to finish with this topic. If you have any questions or problems, you can always ask me. Bauganingles.com. Go into the website. Log in using your password because I'm sure you're a member of the course of the program. Log in to the account. Send me an email. Well, send an email to our teacher's team if you have grammar questions or problems. At any time, we will answer you. That's what we're here for. We are here to help you. And I will take the questions and I will answer the questions on the air, on the radio. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is move on now to talk, talk about some things that I have to get rid of. I absolutely have to get rid of some things. I have, I have an old shirt that I have to get rid of. It's too small. And it's too tight. So I have to get rid of it. Deshacerse de algo. To get rid of something. My jeans are torn. So I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of them. I'm not, there's no point keeping them. An old calendar. Is an old calendar useful or useless? I asked that to a student once, and the student said, well, it depends what the pictures are. <laughs> I suppose it's true. But usually it's useless. An old calendar is useless. So you might as well, más vale que... You might as well get rid of it. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Throw it in the garbage. Put it in the trash. Get rid of it. It's useless. Get rid of it. Don't keep things. Yesterday I said I was a pack rat. Means I keep things for too long. I keep things that I don't need. I have piles of old papers. I have to learn to get rid of things. Get rid, R-I-D, of things. It's important to be able to get rid of things and to know when things are of no lo are no longer of use to you. Or a good way, instead of getting rid of it by throwing it in the garbage, you can give it away. 
if my jean, well, my, my shirt here, it's getting a bit tight. So I, but it's still a nice shirt. I could give it away. I could give it away. I could give it as a gift to someone a relative or a friend, I could say, look, I have this shirt. It's very nice. It just doesn't fit me very well. Would you like to have it? Well, yes, Kyle. Thank you very much. And then the person takes the shirt. So what what have I just done? Well, I've just given it away. I have given it as a gift. So we have a phrasal verb there, to give away, to give something as a gift or something that has use to someone, but probably not for me. Maybe it has some use to me, but I think, but I make the decision that I would like someone else to have it so they can benefit from that thing. So I give it away. Right at Christmas, we give gifts. We don't say we give away gifts. We give away things that we originally had for ourselves and now we don't want them anymore. Or we think that, that the recipient would benefit from them more, so we give them away. Right? G- give away an old shirt. I have this book. I've already read it. In fact, I've read this book twice. I'm just going to give it away. Do you want it? Do you want the book? Because I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it away if you want it. I'm giving away this book. Now, and we can also say, hey, go down to the shop. They're giving away free. I don't know. They're giving away free ice creams. It was great. There was a day a few years ago, about two years ago. Uh, next to the office I was working at in the in the Vaughn offices at the time, uh, well, I was working in the office in uh, near the Santiago Bernabeu, and there was an ice cream company giving away ice cream free, and I said, guys, they're giving away ice cream down there. They're giving it away. G- g- get down there, get down and get some free ice cream because they're giving it away. Okay. It has, it has a substantial value, in my opinion, ice cream. So if someone's going to be giving it away, I'm going to be there in line. It's amazing how many people were in line, though. There's a free scoop of ice cream, and you have people ready to wait in line for 90 minutes to get a free scoop of ice cream so they can, you know, maybe it costs two euros. But uh, anyway, it was good. I was one of them. I waited in line. I'm not going to lie to you. I waited in line for, for a good half an hour to get a... <laughs> no, I'm I'm exaggerating. But uh, it was worth it. I got some free ice cream. They were giving it away. Now, we also have the phrasal verb to give out. Again, my Canadian accent, out. Give out, if you prefer that accent, to give out uh, something. Now, this is... Uh, imagine the uh, people advertising their restaurants at the at the metro exit. They have those flyers, and they're giving out flyers, those these little sheets of paper advertising their maybe their Chinese restaurant. They're giving them out. They're not giving them away, right? I don't call up my friend and say, "Hey, come on down, guys, come on down to Seoul." There's a guy down here. He's giving away free menus for a restaurant. He's giving away, you know, um, flyers. No, no, no. I don't, I don't say he's giving them away. He's giving them out. He's distributing. To give out is, is more like distributing. He's standing there giving them out. Sometimes you can't, it, it's difficult sometimes not to take one. He puts it in your hand and he says, I don't want it. He said, but I'm here to give out flyers. My boss told me to give out flyers, so I have to give one to every person. And I say, sorry, look, I'm not hungry. I don't want to go to your Chinese restaurant. I know you're trying to give out flyers, but I'm not interested right now. So give away is with something that has a bit more value. They give away, oh, they're giving away free ice cream. All right. But they're giving out these flyers. They're just distributing, throwing them around, giving them to everyone who, who will possibly take one. But get rid of is with something I don't want it anymore, I, something that I don't want anymore. Or my friend will benefit much more than me, so I would like to be a nice guy. And instead of throwing it in the garbage... I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give it away to him. I'm not going to get rid of it. Get, get rid is to deshacerse de algo. So, so it's probably, if I'm getting rid of it, it's probably going in the garbage. I'm getting rid of it. So anyway, there you go. So we have to get rid of something, to give it away, and give out. My pen is leaking. What should I do? Kyle, get rid of it. Trust me, if you have a leaking pen... Don't try to fix it. Just get rid of it because it's not worth it's not worth the, the, the potential problems of getting your 
clothes all stained with ink. Okay? If you ha- this is my advice. A piece of advice. Advice is non-countable. It's measured in pieces. I will give you a piece of advice. If you have a leaky pen, get rid of it. That's my piece of advice today. Okay? Expression of the day. Well, 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 it's time for our expression of the day. Sano y salvo. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Sano y salvo. Oh, you know it. Safe and sound. Exactly. Safe and sound. Safe, like seguro, and sound. Like sonido, sound, but sound has another meaning. Sound can also mean secure or stable. I'm I'm just I'm just going to I'm putting my hands on the table and I'm trying to shake the table a little bit to see if it if it's wobbling if it wobbles if it is si está, está cojo then it wobbles boom, 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 boom. it goes back and forth it wobbles because the legs are uneven but no this table does not wobble because it's sound it's it's solid it's not going to break it's not going to fall apart it's sound it's secure Okay? It's safe. Well, well, it's it, it's sound. Okay, sa- th- so there we have sound. So safe and sound. You say in Spanish, sano y salvo. We say safe and sound. He got home safe and sound. When I fly to Canada, sometimes I'll call my friends to tell them that I got there safe and sound. Kyle, call me when you get there to let me know that you got there safe and sound. When I come back to Spain, I'll probably call my mother. To tell her that I have arrived in Madrid, safe and sound. Don't worry about me. I'm here. I'm safe and sound. I had a great trip. Okay, safe and sound. Sano y salvo. There we go. Safe and sound. Good. Let's move on. We were talking the other day about uh, not as much and less. And similarly, today we can talk about not as many. Not as many. And it's sweet sister, fewer. Yes. So it's fr- so not as many and fewer. So the direct form there are fewer cars. It's true there are fewer cars in Toledo than in Madrid. There are not as many. There are not as many cars in Toledo as in Madrid. So we prefer this negative comparison sometimes just to make your life difficult maybe. But but um 8 times out of 10 Native speakers will use the negative comparison and say not as many rather than fewer. This is a fact, ladies and gentlemen. There are fewer Eskimos, Esquimales. There are fewer Eskimos in Spain than in Canada. Give me the equivalent. There are not as many Eskimos in Spain as in Canada. There are fewer Eskimos in Spain than in Canada. There are fewer Eskimos in Spain than in Canada. There are not as many Eskimos in Spain as in Canada. So we have the as, as, not as many as, or there are fewer than, than, and with an N, okay? Also, I have noticed, and this is a fact, that there are fewer flamenco dancers in Luxembourg than in Spain. You can say, there are not as many flamenco dancers in Luxembourg as in Spain. That's true. Absolutely. Also, I can say that uh, there are fewer olive trees, olivos, olive trees, olive trees, yes, olive trees. There are fewer olive trees in Cantabria than in Andalusia. Yes, there are... So give me the other comparison, the indirect. There are not as many olive trees in Cantabria as in Andalusia. True. Absolutely. Not as many. Yep. There are not as many snowstorms. If I say there are fewer. There are fewer snowstorms in Andalusia than in Canada. There are fewer snowstorms in Spain than in Canada. There are not as many snowstorms in Spain as in Canada. Very good. 
Vocabulary of the day. Ooh, yes, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. ¿Cómo se dice el tercer mundo? Muy fácil, ¿no? The third world. It's not the first world. It's not the second world. It's the third world. The third world. Clasificar. Valorar. To rate. To rate. Yes. To rate. Desacelerar. Ir más despacio. Slow down. Slow down. You're going too fast. Slow down. Slow down. Slow. Put on the brakes. Slow down. Amenazar. To threaten. To threaten. To threaten, yes. Látigo. Whip. S-O-S. Whip. 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 Very good. All right. Good. Whip. Yes. Okay. It's time to practice a little more with this not as many and fewer. Now, I don't know as many people. So let, let, let's change it the other way. We'll go from not as many back into fewer. It's more common to say not as many. But we're gonna, we, I want to develop this idea. I want to help you develop um, a good grasp on this idea that they're the same. Okay? I don't know as many people in California as Layla does. So you can say, you know, Kyle, you know fewer people in California than Layla does. That's true. I know fewer people in California than Layla does. I don't know as many people in California as Layla does. Remember the as. As, as, or than. I don't know as many classical music pieces as Richard Brown does. You know fewer classical music pieces than Richard Brown does. That's true. Mm -hmm. I don't know as many Irish football teams as Fitz does. You know fewer Irish football teams than Fitz does. That, that's true. I don't know as many towns in Texas as Richard Vaughn does. You know fewer towns in Texas than Richard Vaughn does. Yes, I do. I know fewer towns. I don't know very many towns in Texas at all. Yes. But he knows, he knows fewer names of Canadian hockey teams than I do. <laughs> it's always, for me, it's always with Canadian hockey teams. He, well, he doesn't know as many Canadian hockey teams as I do. So he, he knows fewer Canadian hockey teams than you do. That's true. Yes. I will challenge anyone when it comes to uh, no knowledge of Canadian ice hockey. It's my, it's my, I'm in my element. Estoy en mi salsa, you could say, right? But I don't know as many, uh, I don't know, I don't know as many Spanish football teams as, say, um, well, probably as, as Fitz does. Fitz probably knows more about Spanish football than I do. Yes. Certainly about Irish football. He knows a lot more than I do. Yes. So I don't know as many people. I don't know as many people in Spain as you do, probably. I know fewer people in Spain than you do. But you probably don't as you probably don't know as many people in Canada as I do. Okay, so we have this not as many and fewer. Well done. This is explained very well in your student guide. So if you have any questions, take a look in the guide. And all, as always, you can ask us questions through, through the website. Bauganingles.com. I'm out of time. I'm going to finish there. My name is Kyle. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with more. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs>